Later is Father Evan, and it looks like we have Father Vinny as, oh, Father Vinny? Okay. Please take a moment to welcome those around you. And now, if you'll please bring yourself into a prayerful silence and remember to silence your cell phones, we'll begin in just a moment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Well, my friends in faith, today we gather on this Gaudete Sunday, a Sunday of joy. It's also on our liturgical calendar, the day of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patroness of the Americas. So in honor of all of these mysteries, and of the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, let us take a moment to call to mind our sins, and ask for God's great mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, 
who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity. Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. <clears throat> Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion. Be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The crowds asked John the Baptist, what should we do? He said to them in reply, whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none, and whoever has food should do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized and they said to him, teacher, what should we do? And he answered them, stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, and what is it that we should do? He told them, do not practice extortion, do not falsely accuse anyone and be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, and the chaff will burn with unquenchable fire. Exhorting them in many other ways, he preached the good news to the people, the gospel of the Lord. What should we do? These are the questions that John the Baptist asks of people. So I want you to know that the answers are here, but there's also another good news. What should we do? I hope you're doing them already. He who has, they who have two cloaks give one away. Stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Do not practice extortion. Do not falsely accuse anyone and be satisfied. So this is the, the New Testament, the gospel. 
Sometimes we don't give the Hebrew scriptures much credit for good news. From Zephaniah, the very first words are, shout, shout, shout for joy, O daughter of Zion. Sing joyfully, O Lord. Be glad and exult. And then Paul, brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. So I'm going to suggest a way each of us uniquely can rejoice and do something that's hard, perhaps. People are going Christmas shopping. So I want you to do some mental shopping now. What is the one gift you can give to yourself that only you can give to yourself? So forget all the other people you have to give gifts to. I want you to think of and feel what is the one gift you only can give to yourself that will enable you to go, rejoice, rejoice. I'm finally doing what I need to do. Okay. I've preached this a couple times, and yesterday I was finishing and going back to the house for a coat, and all of a sudden it hit me what I, the gift I need to give to myself. Okay, and I thought, ooh, this is a lot harder when you. <laughs> uh, but I, I have to practice what I, in this instance, practice what I preach. Okay? So I really want you to think of this. What, on, what you only can do that will make you rejoice that it will be a Merry Christmas. Do all the other good stuff, but there's something that you alone know you need, and it's in your power to give that gift to yourself. Okay. So I, I'm giving you a, a bonus I give you three minutes of silence now to think and feel what is the one gift you alone can give to yourself that will enable you to rejoice. So for three minutes, that's at the top of your shopping list.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made, for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and conscious of death. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy and Catholic and Apostolic Church. I can trust one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And as a people united to God in great joy, we bring all our needs before him. That the church may be a source of joy for all peoples. That local national and world leaders may practice gratitude and compassion in their actions and decisions. That all people who are hurting in mind, body, or spirit may find consolation in Emmanuel, God with us. That all citizens of the world may have wisdom, courage, and patience in coping with the COVID pandemic. For OSU students, faculty, and staff, that they may have renewed dedication to their fields of study and their work. For the repose of the soul of community member Patty Rubel, for the repose of the soul of Andre Goubeau, son of community members Jean and Sherry Goubeau, for the repose of the soul of community member Hank Babalski, for all our deceased loved ones and those who mourn their passing.
we pause for our own personal intentions. For these intentions, spoken and unspoken, Gracious and loving God, you call us to share the joy of your salvation in all that we do and pour out your spirit upon us in abundance so that we may have the strength to do so. And so we offer all these prayers made in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Church. 
May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, 
and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we pray for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, our bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcements. So for students preparing for finals this week, uh, we have study break snacks upstairs, and we'll have the labyrinth available as a meditation here in the Marion room this coming week. Uh, we also have our Christmas mass schedule, including virtual masses and parking information, available at BuckeyeCatholic.com. And next weekend, we're going to have a special baccalaureate mass on Saturday at 4.30 p.m. to celebrate our graduating Buckeyes. So all are invited to attend in person or online, especially those who are graduating, their families. And if you are graduating, you're more than welcome to come in academic regalia as well. But note, we will not, we will not have the 5.30 p.m. mass that day. And then lastly, are there any uh, graduating seniors here today? I invite you to please stand up. If I could get the two of you to come forward, share a little bit about yourselves. I saw you in the back. So if you want to go ahead, just tell us your name, what your uh, degree will be in, what your future plans, and uh, what the Newman Center means to you. So no, no pressure, though. No pressure. <laughs> you can go to the, to the podium where there's a microphone. <laughs> I got tricked. For <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm Chris. Um, I'm obviously a senior. I'm graduating in EEOB, which is evolution, ecology, and uh, organismal biology. It's kind of a mouthful. And uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm still kind of figuring it out, but um, I think I'm going to take a year or two off to do like the Peace Corps, um, just to kind of like, <laughs> I just kind of want some time to like think about it, but um, uh, if I'm being really honest, like the Newman Center, it's been a great, uh, I don't know, home, but at the same time, I have not used it. Um, to its full potential, I would say. Um, and I'm actually, I just committed myself <laughs> like today um, to just kind of come here and uh, I guess be more Catholic, <laughs> um, just the second semester. So, yeah. That's that's mine. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name's Allison, so I'm graduating on Sunday, and I'm a finance major, and after graduation, I'll be working for J.P. Morgan Chase as an analyst, and then the Newman Center has always been like a place of peace for me every week when like finals and exams and other daily stress has come in my life, like it's always been peaceful for me to come here at church. Hello everybody, my name is Danny and I am a security and intelligence major uh, and when I graduate I'll be attending Officers Candidate School in, uh, for the Navy in Rhode Island. Well, big congratulations to all of you. If I could have the three of you stand up here so we can give you a blessing and everyone else if you wouldn't mind standing and extending your arms and blessing over them. We ask you, loving God, to bless our graduates as they depart from us. May Almighty God keep you from all harm and bless you with every good gift. May God's good word always be in your heart and fill you with lasting joy. May you always walk in God's ways 
and always knowing what is right and good until you enter the heavenly inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.